هذا بنجو هي بداية حمله ابي احمد هذا بنجو بداية الحمل تبعه بلاك هاي فلانكي دنيا بنجوس سجل بزمية He's called Abu Wad. It means father of the flowers. And his young son, Ibrahim. For five years of hellish war, this pocket of serenity has been perhaps the most amazing survivor in Aleppo. Abu Wad runs the city's last garden center. <laughs> But Abu Wad's world is in rebel-held Aleppo, and it's been bombed relentlessly by the Syrian regime and now the Russians. We met during a lull in the bombing earlier this year. Of the million people who lived in this part of the city, just 250,000 remained. And throughout this time, Abu Wad hasn't stopped gardening. هاي موسيقى موسيقى بيدوفين الموسيقى هاي تعودنا عليها بلاها ما بقى منحسين هاي نحن ما تبرينا موسيقى هاي ضربة بالبرميل مش شزية راحت الله طالع منه لا تعيش السجرة ونحن من نعيش غصب لأنهم بكل Aleppo was one of the great cultural beauties of the world and one of the longest inhabited. Today, so much of it has been laid waste and thousands have been killed. Defiantly amid all this, Abu Wad's whole existence seems dedicated to the beauty of life. This customer chooses rosemary plants. Rosemary, not for remembrance here, as much as resistance. Some Aleppans buy the flowers and plant them on roundabouts in the city. Small islands of vitality, and surely a comfort to those who, by choice or lack of it, remain in Aleppo. Because to live here is to live every day with grief. 13-year-old Ibrahim gave up school to stay close to his dad. He helps in the garden center, but is clearly weighed down by the worries of war. <laughs> Freshly cut flowers in the middle of Aleppo's war seems too extraordinary to believe. It didn't last. In the final days of May, six weeks after we met, the intense bombing by the Syrian regime and Russia began again. A bomb landed near the garden center, but Abu Wad was hit and died immediately. The nursery is closed. Nobody comes to buy flowers anymore. And this is where Abu Wad, the gardener of Aleppo, is buried, with no blooms to decorate the graves. Without his dad, Ibrahim seems lost. It's not Abu. Yeah. 
In time, perhaps he will remember how his father described the cycle of life. Yeah, he's like that, huh? Not the hook. Besides, the island, we're going to have a nice view of the sky, and there's nothing better than that. اللي بيشوف الورد هي بتمتع بجمال رب العالمين اللي خلقنا اياه ومن شم ريحتها هي تنعش القلب تنعش الروح لاني اساس الدنيا كلها ياتها ورده